Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is another launch day unboxing video of today's newest game, Nintendo Switch Sports. Today is April 29th, the game has launched today. Go check your local retailers if you want to pick this game up. Otherwise, you can buy it on the eShop here for only $39.99. It just doesn't include the free leg strap. But this is a sequel to Wii Sports, as they said in the Nintendo Direct when they announced it back in February. It comes with a little box here because this physical version includes a leg strap. This retails for $49.99. It includes six sports with a seventh free sport to be added in the fall. It includes um, volleyball, badminton, bowling, soccer, chambara, and tennis. Here's what the front looks like, and here's the side. Kind of has some cool action pictures of bowling, chambara, and tennis. Most of you probably know Chambara as swordplay from the other sports games. Here's what the back of it looks like. It says to get in the game. Your movement controls the action. Volleyball, Batman, badminton, um, bowling, soccer, Chambara, and tennis. On the back you can see it can be one to four players. And this game has to be played on tabletop mode or in TV mode. There is no um, handheld mode gameplay for this game. Um, I'm going to be playing it on docked mode, of course, always, but for the sake of this video, I will take the Joy-Cons off and have it just um, standing there, and I'll use my Joy-Con strap. So make sure you have good Joy-Con straps. The leg strap is for soccer. Without further ado, let's get into unboxing this game. You may already have a leg strap if you have the Ring Fit game from the Switch that came out a few years ago. Let me just open this like so. Alright, so this is two games in a row that I've unboxed that come in a box, which is kind of cool. Here's what it looks like inside when you first open it up. If you can see in there, the leg strap is bagged up in there. It's probably hard to see. There it is, you see it? Right there. And here's the game, so let's pull it out. Here we are, Nintendo Switch Sports. Comment below which of these six sports is your favorite, and comment below what sport you want them to add. As you can see on the back here, it has a bunch of the new sports mates, which don't worry, there are Mies in this game still, but they added these new sports mates characters. Um, the name of the area you play in is called Sp Spoko Square. It's the same art as the front of the box. It says Nintendo Switch Sports on the side there. Let's open this up. All right. Now we're going to look inside the box and see that we get the leg strap here. Here it is. It feels really nice quality, so that's always good. You just slide the Joy-Con in right here in this little pocket. It even has the Nintendo Switch logo on it, which is cool. So this will be used for soccer, which is cool. And they'll be adding an update to go with this later on as well to be able to use this in full online match matches, not just shootouts. Let's open this game here and play. For those of you who didn't know, they, Nintendo did an online play test of this game back in February. So some people have already tried out a few sports when they did a test there, that was cool. Here we go. I like I like the art on the front. It looks good. Here's the art on the inside. Looks like it's a huge overview of Spoko Square. Funny enough, hopefully they add baseball because there's literally a baseball stadium shown in the game when you're at the select sport menu. It's kind of cool. They see, as you can see, that they put the little warning manual thing inside. So that's, that's unusual. It says to make sure you're well stretched stretch properly before you play. Make sure you wear the wrist straps or else the Joy-Cons might fly off and hit the TV. <laughs> they have to put that so they don't get sued, but anyways, I like the inside cover right here. It looks really cool. And here's what the cartridge looks like. It just says Nintendo Switch Sports on it. Let's go ahead and take it out. And we'll put, put it in our thing, our Switch. Um, 
If you guys haven't seen my last unboxing video, it was Lego Skywalker Saga, which was a fun game. I already beat that. Thanks to all of you who watched it and supported the video. Here we go. We're going to insert Nintendo Switch ports here. Let me make sure I tilt it down so you guys can see it pop up for the first time. Three, two, one. There it is. Nintendo Switch ports. If you guys want to friend me on Switch, I already have a lot of you guys added. I have so many friends on here, but there's my friend code. If you guys want to friend me, here we go. Oh, a new update is already available, so a day one update is indeed there. Let's download the update here. We'll see how long it takes. Just a few minutes, so I'll pause the video and the update will be done when we come back. All right, everyone, the update is done. The game is now launching. As you can see here, like I said, you have to be able to play this with these Joy-Cons detached from the console. So if you want to play this game on your Nintendo Switch Lite, the only way you can do that is if you have separate Joy-Cons. As you can see, attach the Joy-Con strap and hold the controller securely while, while playing. So I'm going to have to remove these here. This is like um, Wii Sports, where you had the Wii remotes that had motion controls, so that's what this has. I'll put the straps on here. And I'll be behind the camera um, playing like this. I'll be doing all the movements and things. I'm also curious to see if the tennis rackets from Mario Tennis Aces work out with this. So you'll see me test that here. I'm not sure if any other YouTubers are going to do that. There it is, Nintendo Switch Sports. You can play globally, play locally, or play with friends. Um, it has a really cool theme song, and they remixed the Wii version one, so that's really cool. Um, I'm not even sure what to start with. Probably play go globally. Single player. Um, I can begin my career. That's really cool. All right, here we go. Select your appearance and nickname. You can change either of these later. Your nickname will be Simon Opponents Online. All right, what do I want my nickname to be? Joey, that's already there. So I can either use a me or a sports mate. Here's my me. Wow, he looks really cool. For the sake of I know everyone loving me's, I'll use my me. <laughs> I know everyone likes the me's in sports games here. And everyone prefers the me's mostly. Um, I like this blue outfit here. That's my favorite color. You cannot choose any of these um, clothing selections and accessories when you use a me. So that's good to note. But as you play the game, you unlock certain things for your for your um, sports mates. Let's see, what do I want to put? Dog. <laughs> Extreme. You can give yourself a little nickname here. Hello. Is there on here? <laughs> I'm just trying to set a name here, everyone. Um, a nickname. <laughs> party dog. All right, that that'll be our little nickname on here. Little catchphrase: Party dog. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I have three dogs now, which is cool. Here's what my guy looks like. You can rotate by pressing ZR or ZL. I like I like the way he looks. Wow. That's my me, everyone. How do I... All set. All right, there we go. Now we're going to try a sport for the very first time here. Play online and compete with players from around the world. Other players will be able to see your nickname, in-game appearance, title, and other play data. No, sometimes your opponent will be a CPU. Okay, that's good to know. Welcome, Welcome to Spaco Square. Perfect. Spaco or Spoko, I have no idea how it's pronounced. <laughs> well, probably here, hopefully. Compete here in various sports versus players from all over the world. Look at that. Earn points toward outfits and accessories after each match. Customize your appearance after playing sports. Ready to play? Just choose a sport. All right, I'm ready to play, everyone. Okay, it is Spoko. Perfect. There's the theme, everyone. I love the theme song. 
definitely has some nostalgia to it because it uses Wii Sports Steam elements and some other game elements. Um, as you can see, it tells you how many Joy-Cons you need for each sport, Jambara, um, tennis, soccer, volleyball, badminton, and bowling. Which one do I want to try first? Um, soccer, volleyball, and badminton are new to the sports series here. Up here we can see our little profile. Down here we can do settings, um, items. Yep, these are all the collections that you can get so far. As you can see, it rotates, so that's cool. So that'll be nice to come back to the game for that. Let's just try the first one here, volleyball. This is a new sport. As you can see, there's what my profile looks like, Party Dog Joey. <laughs> and it's searching for some opponents here, so Fumiko, Shinosuke, and Mayo. Select a hand to serve and spike with while well, I'm right-handed, so I'll use right. All right, press the buttons up and this. Perfect. All right. So I'll have the camera on the game here, and I'll be doing the controls behind behind the camera here. Here we go. How to play volleyball. They're going to give us a tutorial. Let's learn the basics of volleyball. Bump, set, and spike. Return the ball to your opponent's side while switching off rolls with your teammate. Ready the Joy-Con and then swing it up at the right time to hit the ball. Alright, so this is indeed motion controlled, like I said earlier, so let's try it. Alright, I did it. There you go. There you go, yeah. I don't even have to press any buttons, which is cool. Ready the Joy-Con and swing it upward at the right time to hit the ball. So if I go like this, I can hit the ball. Maybe do a block. Your thing was a little late. <laughs> there we go, I got a nice there. Your timing was a bit early. All right, I'll keep it in mind. So this game does take practice, but it's it's very fun so far. Um, swing the Joy-Con up to jump. Swing the Joy-Con down to spike. Okay, so this is jump, spike, all right. First swing the Joy-Con up, which will cause you to face the ball and jump. All right, now what? There we go. All right, I did a jump and spike, so that was cool. I took a little practice there. Next, after jumping, try executing a spike. I'll definitely be streaming this game, everyone, because this is a fun game to play with friends online, so I'll be playing with you guys on streams and things, so I'll look forward to that. Swing the Joy-Con up a little quicker to jump. Swing the Joy-Con down a little quicker to spike. There we go. So now that they gave me that tip, I was able to do it correctly. I went a little early that time, though. Swing the dragon a little quicker to jump. All right. I'm now going to end the tutorial. I think we got it. I'm also going to put my wrist strap on tightly so that I don't fling this thing forward. You can do emotes with R. Here we go, everyone. I get to serve. Here we go, everyone. So I can move my me with this um, analog stick here. Oh no, was that me? Oh, that was my fault. Okay, I'm still trying to get used to this. Oh, I got us a point there. Wasn't the prettiest thing, but there we go.
And I used a little emote up in the corner as you guys saw there. There's our instant replay. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, am I going to showcase all the sports in this video? Um, I'm thinking about that now. There we go. I blocked it. I think I'll try to showcase each sport here, but we'll see. We'll see how long these rounds take here. I don't want it to be too long a video. Three to two. I think it's the first of seven points wins. I'm still trying to learn the timing correctly here. There we go. That was a good one. That was a jump spike. I don't know if that was the right term for it. <laughs> that was cool. Can I save my video clips? I can, all right. I'm gonna serve it here. There we go. There we go. There we go, that was a good one. Match is over. Okay, it's the first of five. We won, everyone. My very first Nintendo Switch Sports match. We took the W. I like using the Miis. I mean, the sports mates look cool. If you guys want those, you can use it. But the Miis look great. I mean, I love, I love how it looks. So I'm thankful they didn't get rid of Miis as a whole here. You can even create your own mat from Wii Sports Me if you want to. So we got some points there because I was online. Here's a little tip how to serve. That was a fun one. I liked volleyball. All right. Is the Joy-Con strap attached? Yes, it is. As you can see. Next is badminton. I'm actually going to go grab my tennis rackets from Mario Tennis Aces and see if they work here. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. I have a little tennis racket here. You can just put the Joy-Con in here. Let's see if it works with Nintendo Switch Sports. I'm curious. Um, you don't need to take... You can take this wrist strap off here, I guess. And use the one that's on the racket. It just slides in like this. And because it's motion controlled, I should be able to use this and have it feel more like a tennis racket when I'm swinging. So I think you can use this for badminton and um, tennis, of course. So let's try it out. So far, this game is really fun. I know some people will say it feels incomplete. Here we go, we got Mike, Hero Mike. But they will be adding a sport in the future, um, golf, and then hopefully they'll add more. So that'll be fun. Here we go. So yeah, stay tuned until fall, and they'll add that golf update. Hopefully they add, like, baseball, maybe boxing. There we go, I'm ready to go. Let's see how well the motion controls work here. I can wave, hello. Okay, I can use this racket. As you can see, I'm swinging. Point the Joy-Con at the center of the screen and press up. All right, here we go. Score five points to win. I didn't get a tutorial. Maybe it's just self-explanatory, I have no idea. How do I get up? I saved it, wow. Okay, it's really nice, I can use this racket, so what other YouTubers are gonna try this out, I'm not sure, but for those of you watching this video and you have the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con rackets here, A, we got one point. If you have these rackets or you wanna buy them, you can for this game and it works out just fine. Also, I'm not playing on a TV, I'm playing here on my little Switch OLED, so it'll definitely be better experience on a big, bigger screen. Okay, to serve you, just swing up. That's all you have to do. That's good. This is so much fun. I love this game already. I know a lot of people were picky because it wasn't free. Um, they added the new sports mates. Um, they didn't have as many good sports. There's just a lot of complaints. But my honest review is I'm really enjoying this game so far, and I've only played two sports. One to one.
I'm gonna try a different shot here. A different, like, hit. I have no idea. It's nice, the computer, uh, the game moves your me for you to go to the right spot, so that's nice. There we go, that was a good hit. I'm going to be moving, um, the tripod up here, so hopefully you can see my tennis racket more. Let's see, let's aim it down here. I just want to give you guys a little POV. There we go. What a good shot. So as you can see, that was my point of view. Tennis rackets do work, so that's cool. I had a theory that they would with this game, so that's cool. Hello. So you can wave to your opponent. <laughs> I guess the person who serves is whoever had the last point, maybe. I'm not sure. But I'm winning 3-1. to one. Most of the people I'm playing online with are using these sports mates right now, so that's definitely interesting. Yeah, you can use whatever you prefer, the sports mates or your me. There we go, in. I think this looks so cool, the user me. I think it's the best versions of the Mii's we've seen so far here in a game. Like, they just look really high quality. Match point, here we go, I'm winning 4-1. to one. If I score here, I win. Make sure you stay tuned to my live streams, because I'll be streaming this game and playing and having some fun on there and playing with you guys. In, perfect. All right, I won. Good game, everyone. I'm not sure who Mr. Mike is here, but good job to him. I'm taking a capture of that. I want to have a little memory of all my first games here playing. So this is also another new sport added in the game. It was really cool, and as you can see, there's a little way to make shots by swinging like this. So that's cool. Um, we're at... 22 minutes. I think I'll make this a little bit of a longer unboxing video. And I'll try out one more sport just for you guys. Which will be the classic bowling. Actually, I'll... Uh, what do I want to try? I think I'll save bowling for stream because I want to be standing up for that one. And for the sake of this video, I'll just do Chambara, which is another classic sport. Because I'm playing on this, I'll just do an easier one than bowling, because that one I would rather be standing up for and having, like, a nice big TV. So stay tuned. Maybe I'll do a separate video. Or something. Where's my wrist? I'll take that off of here. So I can choose which hand I want to hold the sword with. I'll do right. You can also have double swords at some times. See, so you can have twin swords, charge sword, or sword. I'll use the basic one here. Here we go with Chambara, also known as Swordplay in the previous games. I have the wrist strap back on. Um, let me tighten it up here. How to play, play Chambara. Sword. Point the Joy-Con at the center of the screen and press up. Alright. Keep the buttons facing you as you hold the Joy-Con with both hands. Oh, I have to hold it with both hands. Alright. When I move my Joy-Con up, left or right, your sword will move too, all right. Swing the Joy-Con quickly and attack. There we go. So I just have to hit like this, everyone. I'm doing it one-handed, even though it wants you to do two-handed. I'll try it with two hands, though. Let's see what happens. You can guard by holding down ZR. Okay, so this is how you guard to block attacks. A horizontal strike is coming. Hold down zero while guarding vertically. There you go, I blocked that one. There we go. It's easy enough. The motion controls feel good. I have to guard horizontally now. 
There we go. So it's actually like I have a real sword. That's really cool. This will be such a fun game to stream and play with you guys, so if you want to play along with me, stay tuned for my streams, or you can join my Discord server. When your opponent is guarding vertically, swing the Joy-Con vertically and attack. Alright, swing the Joy-Con after releasing ZR. There we go. So I have to hold this down and then release and then swing. There we go. Um, when your opponent is guarding horizontally, swing the Joy-Con horizontally and attack. Okay. okay. I honestly like the one-handed better. Holding with two hands kind of feels weird, but maybe I'll try it on a bigger TV and see what it feels like. Attack so as not to cross swords. Ow, I just hit myself or something. Okay, wait, so how do I do this? There we go. Swing diagonally. Alright. Okay. Um, I've got the basics down cold. The simple sword is the ba basis of the sport, so try to master it. Okay, so I'm going to try to master this before I switch to any other ones here. You can always replay the tor tutorial and options. Here we go with the last um, sport of the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Chambara. Joey versus Ren. Kylo Ren. <laughs> Here we go. Hopefully I remember everything. Okay. Oh, I have my... Okay, I have to match what he's doing. There we go. I KO'd him. What was that guy doing? He was just guarding the whole game. It's best of three, everyone. So here we go. Round two. I think this guy's just focusing on guarding, me, guarding my shots, but... Die! I KO'd him again! This guy is a noob. <laughs> I mean, so am I, so I can't say anything. Game! Alright, we won. Uh, that was quicker than I thought. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, unboxing and playing Nintendo Switch Sports. I'll play the next three sports on a stream or a separate video if you guys want. So stay tuned for that. Thank you everyone for watching. Go buy this game if you want to have some sports fun. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.